In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the payments for a car or a house. So, first of all, the formula, if you were to use the formula, you would use this one, PMT for payment equals P, which is the principal value, times R over N, R is the interest rate, um, which you'll have to transform into decimals. N is the number of uh, payments. And um, then divided by 1 minus 1 plus R over uh, N um, to the power of negative NT. But we are not going to use this formula. We are going to use the calculator because it's much faster. So let's read the problem first. And then let's solve it using the calculator. So suppose that you borrow $11,000 for four years at 5% towards the purchase of a car. If it's not specified here, uh, then uh, you're going to use 5% uh, um, per year. Find the monthly payments and the total interest for the loan. So let's write what is given. So if we go to the apps, and if we go to 1 and then 1 again, and let's write what is n. So n is the number of times the interest is computed. So it's 4 years, but they say find the monthly payment, so 4 times 12. The interest rate is 5. The present value, well, it says, suppose that you borrow $11,000. So when you borrow them, you have them now, right? So that's your present value, so 11000 Then the payment, well, it says, find the monthly payment. So this is what I want to find. So we put a box like we did in the past for something that we want to find. Future value, well, I'm just going to put zero because I don't want to find that. I want to find out how much money I'm going to pay every month if I borrow $11,000. The P slash Y, so how many times the payment happens? Well, it's a monthly one, so we put 12. And the cumulative one, it's 12. And we put end. So now let's plug in, in the calculator. So 4 times 12. Well, we could have put 48, but... Um, calculator can do that. 5, present value 11,000. The payment is the one that I want to find. The future value is 0. We have to put something and 12, 12, it's already there. So the payment is alpha, enter. It's 253.32. This is how much money you have to pay every month for 4 years to um, pay back your 11,000 um, that you borrowed. Again, ignore the negative. So this is the part A where we find the monthly payment. Part B is the interest. So let's see. If we multiply 253.32 by 4 and by 12, we're going to find out how much money we actually pay, including the interest. So 253.32 times 4, because it's 4 years, times 12, because it's monthly. So we get 12,159.36. 12, this is how much money you pay out of pocket. But you borrowed 11,000, but you paid back 12,159.36. So if we subtract the 11,000, so minus 11,000, we get 1,159.36. This is how much money you pay extra because you borrow the money with some interest. I hope this helps.